In this video we're going to look at some abiotic or non-living factors that can be found in ecosystems. I'm going to talk about temperature variation, availability of water, light intensity, availability of gases and natural forces as well as shelter. Okay, so temperature vari variation is something that we can measure and we can measure the change in temperature both daily and seasonally. So an example of an environment or a biome that has a large temperature change, a large daily temperature change, would be the desert, where it can be very hot during the day, but very cold at night. On the other hand, the ocean has a very low daily change. So the temperature of the ocean uh, doesn't change any much more than a degree over the course of 24 hours. Uh, this is different to the seasonal variation where the temperature of the ocean can change uh, but it's according to the seasons and not daily. Availability of water refers to how much water there is and when the water falls or how often it falls. So for example rainforests have a lot of water, it rains a lot, while the deserts don't have very much. Then you have some that are a little bit in between, like monsoonal areas, where they have not very much water for most of the year, and then they have a rainy season where a lot of water comes in and a lot of the areas flood. And then after that rainy season stops, the waters run off and it goes back to being very dry. Light intensity refers to how strong or intense a light, the light is at a particular point. Uh, so, for example, in oceans, the light only penetrates so far, so the top layer of the ocean uh, has quite high light, like at the beach, and you can see under the water. Well, however, once you get much deeper in the water, you can't see the light from the water, so there isn't the penetration to get down. Another example of this is in a rainforest, because of the dense canopy up the top, the ground or the, the plants living on the ground have quite low light intensity. So while the light intensity at the top of the canopy is high, at the bottom of the canopy or at the base of the trees is low. Availability of gases refers to how available oxygen is for animals and carbon dioxide is for plants. Now most biomes in, uh, that are on land have pretty good availability of gases, being that they're surrounded by gas. However, if you get to very high altitudes, the air gets a bit thinner, uh, so the availability of gases can decrease. In water or aquatic biomes, the availability of gases is much less. However, there are dissolved gases inside the water. So there's oxygen and carbon dioxide dissolved in the water. However, this uh, it de decreases with depth because the way that it gets into the water is through splashing of uh, rapids and waves and things like that. So as it gets deeper, the water isn't moving around so much, isn't in contact with that air, and there's not as much uh, gases available at that area. Strength of natural forces refers to pretty much how strong natural forces are. So it could be things like the tide, currents in water, wind on land, uh, so all these natural forces place stress on the plants and animals living in an ecosystem. And shelter is how much shelter is available to protect uh, plants and animals from those natural forces. So in a creek where you might have quite a strong current, at the side of the creek there might be a fallen log that provides shelter for fish that don't like that strong current. In this video we've looked at temperature variation, both daily and seasonally, the availability of water, how much water there is, how often it falls, light intensity, how intense is the light or how strong is the light at a particular point, at which may change within an ecosystem like being strong in the canopy but quite low or dark uh, on the ground in a rainforest. We looked at the availability of gases high on the land decreasing with altitude, uh, lower but still present in water, although that decreases with depth. Uh, 
we've looked at the natural forces, including tides, currents and winds, and shelter from those natural forces being something that protects the plants and animals that live in that ecosystem.